the horse. They called Harry Gallatin the horse for a reason. He was a rebounding machine. He was a first round draft pick of the New York Knicks out of what is now Truman State University. I knew Harry Gallatin from quote, quote, the very beginning. One day they said, the team is leaving, and they said, we're bringing in this farm boy. Would you stay and shoot around with him for a couple hours? And, and Mr. Lapchick asked me, tell me if he can play. That farm boy was Harry Galton. And so Harry and I shot around in Madison, the old Madison Square Garden for a couple of hours. I was amazed at his talent. And I told coach the next day, I said, hey, this boy can play. A center at 6'6", he usually played against bigger post players, but Harry dominated on the boards. He played nine seasons with the New York Knicks and a final season with Detroit. Gallatin averaged in double figures and rebounds every season. In an all-pro season, 53-54, Harry averaged over 15 rebounds a game. In a game in 1953, Harry pulled down 33 rebounds, still a record for the New York Knicks. Harry could score, too. He averaged about 12 points a game. He grew up in Roxana, Illinois, and went to high school in Wood River. He was a seven-time NBA All-Star. When he retired, Harry turned to college coaching. He spent four years at SIU Carbondale. He led the Salukis to postseason appearances every year. Then the St. Louis Hawks came calling. Harry coached the Hawks for three seasons and the New York Knicks for two. When he had enough of pro basketball, he became the first athletic director and basketball coach at SIU Edwardsville. He remained at SIUE until his retirement in 1992. He was also the Cougars golf coach for 24 years. Harry the Horse Gallatin in seven halls of fame, including the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Now make that eight as we welcome the horse into the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame.